as I get out my car, one of the parents came to me and said, one of your students was shot. I said, not one of my students, not for my class, it couldn't have been. I see yellow tape, I see cops, I see crime scene. Basically, it was a shootout between two different people in a disagreement, and straight bullets just went everywhere. The student was pronounced dead at the scene. Straight bullet, straight to his head. Ten years old. Yeah, ten year fifth grade student. My immediate reaction was self blame. I turned into a social worker at the time for the family. I wanted to conduct my own investigation, so I, I felt as though I turned myself into a police officer. Because now I'm thinking, how did one of my kids get shot? And I, I'm believing it's my fault because had I not sent you to the store, maybe you'd have got there a few minutes early or a few minutes late. It had me to the point at nights I could not sleep because I was doing the what if, 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 what if. I just fell into a depression. That's the only operative word I can use. Fell into a major depression. I dealt with it all by myself. I couldn't work. I couldn't fathom my idea of going back to working with children. None of that due to the self-blame. Mom called me about six months after this had happened and just said, you know, in the beginning, as a parent, I was blaming you because what if this may not have happened to my child, but it wouldn't have been somebody else's child, not necessarily hers. I got a t-shirt that I was presented with from the family. They made all the students from the emotional support classrooms come. It was a nice thing, and I think that kind of gave me some small closure. The smallest things mean the most.